Alright, so we're gonna create a dice on Java, with JavaScript and HTML. So first of all, uh, my other script's not working. The script, so it's function. Sorry, I can't spell. Function, define it, get random, upper curly brackets, var. And a number sleepy. Math floor math random times upper plus one semicolon return random number. Then we're gonna alert. Uh, let's do this one. Alert blah. I think it works. Alert blah. Alright, cool. It's alerting. Um, we're gonna alert. I think I should call it die. Dice. Call it dice. Then do the quotes. Do the quotes. Set this dice chart. All right, cool. Um, this is what's happening in here. This is a function. I define it as dice. So my dice is seven bases. And then I define a variable, so it'll be variable random number equals math floor, and then math floor means floor means round down, so that's what that means. And then math random is a random number times upper, so. That would be right here, upper. So it would be like this the seven goes in here and here, seven plus one. So I'll round down and then I'll return a random number between one and seven. So let's see if we actually get a 7. Yeah, we got a 7. Okay. So it can't be like a 0. It's impossible. So it will be 1 through 7. The round number. So we can have a 6 face die. Um, So math random js. You can look it up here. This is a method math random, and then you can like kind of figure out what's going on. So function get random return math random number, and then so yeah, you can also read up here at the developer thing of how to do things like floor math floor is a number see math floor returns the largest integer less than or equal to the given number so for example if you go math floor and it will spit out 45 and math floor is spit out that so we can try this out in the console. Let's try that. Not the console. Whoa, it's so cool. I think it's very simple. It rounds. So math floor rounds. So math. Let's do up. Uh, let's do 44.3. It rounds it. So math floor 
rounds it, rounds the number. So that's a function of that. Um, so basically, I explain what functions are, variables. Um, basically, I'm calling this variable. But if not, I can do console log, and it won't show. It'll be only in the console. So basically, it's doing the math in the background, but you don't see it. But alert, you do see it. So. Yeah. That is my JavaScript tutorial.